thank you all for coming. Uh, this is great. I'm, I'm pleased to be here today, uh, this time on behalf of uh, uh, Canada's uh, Minister of Human Resources and Social Development, the Honorable Monty Solberg. Uh, Monty was with me uh, not long ago to uh, begin one of these, and uh, I hope uh, we'll be doing more. Uh, Monty's also the minister responsible for Canada working and housing. Uh, we're here today, this week, obviously, in the opening of Canada Shelter, formerly known as uh, Park Hill Place Manor. Uh, this new nine-street rental uh, building will be home to lower-income families and individuals. And I'm proud to say that the federal government contributed $225,000 to this project under the Canada-Alberta Affordable Housing Program. Uh, when Canada Shelter was in the early planning stages, the Canada Shelter Corporation also received $10,000 uh, in seed funding from CMHC. Uh, this funding will be an investment for the people of Calgary for years to come. Our government is committed to creating new affordable housing in Calgary and across Canada for those who need it most. The Canada Shelter will help Calgary families and individuals get a roof over their heads and work towards building a better and stronger future. Uh, we are doing much more than this in this community and throughout Canada. In October, we announced the opening of Hamilton House here in Calgary. Hamilton House is a shared home providing housing and support to eight individuals with severe and persistent mental illness. In addition, through the CMHC, uh, we provide approximately $2 billion a year in housing assistance, primarily to support 630,000 households across the country. For the people of Alberta, uh, this represents about $141 million annually in support of 39,600 households. The Government of Canada is delivering on our commitment to make a difference in the lives of those Canadians in need. Our economy is strong, our country is united, and with your help, we'll continue building brighter futures and stronger communities in Alberta and throughout Canada. Today's event, which is saying, marks an important step forward for the people of Calgary and demonstrates what we can achieve when we work together. When it comes to building safe and strong communities, it takes the efforts of many to achieve success. It takes partnerships at all levels of government to get real results. We're helping to create stable homes, a place where Canadians can get settled and get on with their business of building a better future. I want to thank uh, Robert and Canada Shelter Corporation for their efforts. Uh, the work you do in providing safe, healthy, affordable housing is vital to our community. And I wish you the best in the future, Robert. Thank you all. Is an MLA of Calgary Fort and also a chairman of Cabinet Policy Committee. I take this great opportunity to offer my congratulations to Canis uh, Shelter Corporation for realizing the goal of this very important facility here. The creation of this complex will allow low income family and individual in Calgary to live in a safe, quality housing at affordable cost to start a new page in their lives. This project is an excellent example of what we can achieve when we, together, work to address the housing needs in Calgary in the community. Um, I would like to acknowledge the board and the staff of CAS uh, Shelter Corporation for working for so long and so hard on this worthwhile cause. Uh, the need to provide low-cost rental housing throughout Alberta is one of our government top priority. So we are very, very pleased to partner with organizations like Panas to create affordable housing units uh, for Alberta who need it most. Uh, this is one of the reasons why we are so pleased to lend our support for this project, which will give low-wage earners in Calgary a safe and affordable place to call home. And we are pleased to contribute $225,000 uh, to make $450,000 provincial and federal together through our Canada Alberta Affordable Housing Program. Housing is an important part of people's lives and it is a central to our government's commitment to build vibrant, healthy communities. However, it's important to realize that the provincial government cannot address Alberta's housing needs alone. Partnerships are critical and that is why we have been working uh, to on strengthening uh, partnership with all orders of government, private, and not-for-profit sectors. The project exemplifies a commitment on our part 
uh, to work with all partners and across all orders of government to improve quality of life for our low-income citizens. We need to continue being innovative, finding ways to provide affordable housing in it, our community to address this local need. So the government of Alberta will continue to work with our partners, provincial, private, and non-profit sectors for, to address our need in Calgary here. Now, today is the start of a bright future for low-income residents in Calgary. I would like to call on uh, Mr. Robert Sipka to come forward and receive this uh, ceremonial block to mark this occasion. Thank you very much for everybody being here today. Um, there's a lot of people that, that have been involved in putting this together, and I'd like to thank a few of them. Um, I'd like to thank Elon Holmes for their support in putting this uh, presentation together and their support from Building Green as well. And um, certainly my family who supported me through a lot of times when people said, well, I don't think you should be doing something like that. Uh, certainly the employees of Canis have put an unbelievable amount of commitment, hard work, effort and care into this building and I want to really tip my hat to them because they are the reason by the structure behind me stands. So I just wanted to acknowledge all their extra and great efforts in this building.